I was being in it with Kate Cypress. I remember Jack Dell and Mount Madalena, who returns to action at UFC 275. Jack, how are you? Good, thanks, Alex. Thanks for having me. Of course, man. I, I got to ask you, is it Madalena, Madalena? Because Bruce Buffer called you Madalena, but everyone else calls you Madalena. It's Madalena, Madalena, <laughs> Della Madalena. But it's a hard one. It's a, <laughs> it's a long one and it keeps going. So I don't hold any resentment if someone gets it wrong <laughs> gotcha gotcha man so you're 16 days out how are you feeling yeah i'm feeling really good i'm very excited to get over there and get into fight week and yeah get into the fight i can't wait it's going to be a cool experience when do you fly over there we fly out the tuesday of fight week oh, nice okay yeah, okay. So get in, spend a couple of days there and then fight I love it. I love it. Before we talk about your fight, God, I got an important question for you. Um, why don't you have a nickname? To be honest, I don't know. But it's more probably because my name is so long as it is. I don't think I need anything to make it any longer. So I am definitely not opposed to any nicknames if you have any ideas. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> um, man, so it's been four months since your UFC debut. Um, how the hell did that feel? Yeah, it was awesome, you know, go out there. I always thought I'd get there and, and yeah, just to make it happen and have feel in person at the time was incredible. And especially to get that first round win, it was awesome. What a place as well, Anaheim. It was a cool, cool place to be. And yeah, it was an experience that I yeah will remember forever. How did you feel about your performance? I was pretty happy with the performance. There was obviously there was a little. It was such a quick fight that it didn't take. There wasn't a, a huge amount of things to take from, but there were definitely things that I could do better next time. And I feel like I can, if I could, if I could go back and do that fight again, I think I could do it even quicker and a bit more impressive. But yeah, things small things to take away. I was happy with the performance overall. How bummed out were you to find out that a Warley Alves ha had to pull out of the fight? Yeah, at the at the time, it was pretty upsetting, you know. That was such a cool fight, like a guy that had been in the game for so long and had some pretty notable wins. And, yeah, for that fight to fall through was pretty upsetting. But I was, to be honest, as soon as they said that they did have some, they would definitely get me someone, it was okay, you know. So it's no big deal. It is what it is. That's sort of who, if someone else pulls out of the fight, it's sort of out of my control. So I just wanted to fight and I got the fight. So I was happy. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, uh, yeah. Second fight in the USC. You're opening up the pay-per-view. Uh, how does that feel? Yeah, it's cool. Again, it's another cool experience. Like I got to fight on a big card last time and this time to be able to open up the, the pay-per-view, the main card, it's, it's going to be cool, you know. It doesn't really change anything from my perspective, but yeah, it's just a cool, it's a cool placement on the fight card to be. Um, how how excited are you to to fight in Singapore? It's, it's very nice to fight in Singapore. Rather, the, the, I love fighting in the US. I love going over and traveling, but just to have that little less travel time is just going to make the whole sort of trip a little bit smoother and just a little bit faster and. Hopefully just get in, get the job done, and then figure out where to next. Um, Ramazan Eve, man. Uh, how do you like that matchup? I love the matchup. I love a matchup where the person is a well-established fighter in the UFC. Has had a lot of fights, a lot of wins in the UFC. It's a Yeah, it's a good challenge. I'm here to challenge myself overall, and I think he presents a very good, strong challenge, and I feel like it's definitely it's a fight that I believe I will win. I can definitely win. So it's a yeah, another one of those matchups like the Wally Alves one, where it's just a for me, I'm very happy. Um, is it is it a perfect second fight for you? Yeah, in my opinion, I've to be honest, I've always wanted to like fight the Russian Sambo sort of fighter. It's one of those one of those styles that sort of always seems to get to the top of our sport. So to get that competition so early is something that, yeah, it's incredible to me. And it's a, yeah, it's a perfect matchup. I couldn't ask for a better matchup. So many people say that Amiv is one of the most boring fighters on the roster. While you, while you've never been, while you've never had a boring fight in your entire career, which one's going to give? 
Yeah, yeah. I think Amiv is very, very well rounded. He's not obviously he is dangerous, but I don't think he's extremely dangerous in any one particular area. So I can see how his fights do tend to seem like they're a bit boring. But yeah, I'm going to be trying to move and sting him and damage him from the get go. So I'm going to be doing whatever I can to damage him. My style is to damage my opponent and then take him out. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do the whole time. So we'll see what happens. I mean, if you're tuning into a Jack Teller fight, I mean, it's just, it's violence from yeah. one to, That's to the one. That's the plan. I like a violent affair. It's only 15 minutes and it'll be violent for 15 minutes for sure. Um, so, how, I mean, how bummed were you to snap your 100% finish rate on the Contender Series? Although, to be fair, it was one of the best fights on the entire, like, the, the entire show was history. Uh, thank you. Yeah, no, at the, to be honest, at the time, I was pretty upset, like straight away after the fight, I was sort of just thinking I'd lost. But then the more I sat back and realized that it's to get more time in the octagon is good. It's to get your experience level up. I think in this sport, if I want to get to where I want to get to, I'm going to have to do those three rounders and five rounders. So experience is number one, you know, and yeah, I took from it. It was probably the best thing to happen, you know, get the three rounds in, tough three rounds. So it was a blessing. Think, do you think that um, it kind of put the division on notice? Like not only are you a knockout artist, but you can also go 15 minutes if need be. Yeah, it was just a good to prove to myself that I can go three rounds is very important. You know, you know, you can back it up for three rounds. And that's what I've, all my, all my fights, whether I get the finish or not, I will be trying to get the finish the whole time and the ref will need to pull me off by the end of that at some stage for sure. Um, at the end of the day on June 11th, how, how do you get your hand raised? I want to get the, I'm going to be gunning for that finish, but I, yeah, it's going to be, I'm going to be gunning for the finish from start to finish. And I think that's going to be on Ramazan if he could stay in there, but yeah, my plan is to damage him and damage him badly until we can't take any more and, get that win but um i'm gonna get that finish i believe at some stage I, I will be called early in this fight love it i love it um a couple more things before uh before we end this man um the contender series is coming back uh next in two months i just wanted to for you to kind of reflect on that um on that show because especially there's a there's a quite a few eternal fighters coming coming this uh this this season so i just wanted you to kind of your thoughts on it yeah so i'm um, it's a cool show the whole experience i had with the show was really cool like the the fight itself is very it was interesting it was very quiet like there was no walkout music the apex it was like an eerie silence which was it was a cool experience to have that and i think every, everyone on that it's just a cool experience anyone that's going to be taking that route to get to the ufc i think it's a positive thing we've got a, a so far we've actually got someone from perth fighting on contender series this year steve ersig love him i love him I'll, yeah he's a very good fighter and i'll be tuning in for that one i'll be backing him in for sure and uh, yeah it's an incredible experience to like yeah have that fight in the quiet space and you know that if you get if you put on a good performance you'll get the contract to continue to get the big fights yeah for sure for sure then finally uh, main event of UFC 275, man. Glover versus Yuri. Who's winning that? Oh, it's a tough fight. You know, it's sort of that youth versus the veteran. I think uh, I th I'm going to be, I lean towards Yuri on that one. He's got an interesting style, a hard style to prepare for. And he can sort of, I feel like he could probably take Glover out with at any point in the fight. I think Glover is very good and I would never, um, count him out but i think you will get that the win there interesting interesting i like it i like it um jack thank you so much for your time yeah i really appreciate it if you want to plug your social media you want to plug any sponsors you got you want to thank anybody the floor is yours perfect so yeah my social media is just at jack della madalena one word and yeah just shout out to scrappy mma the my team the gym